Favorite way to start a story? Uh... I don't, yeah, uh... A long pause, maybe. Advice for someone starting a podcast? I think it's worth taking the time to figure out what legitimately interests you. There's a tremendous amount of freedom, and that could be kind of overwhelming, and I think there's things that you think that you should do, um, but to get past that and actually pursue the thing that you really want to do could take time to get there, but could be a, a worthwhile thing. Do you like surprises? No. You're not going to like scream in my face, are you? Um, can, do you mind if I just see what this could possibly be? It's my aunt who's trying to FaceTime with me. It's crazy. I'm not going to take that. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> It must have been an accident. What's the difference between writing for radio and writing books? I think you have to take the listener by the hand a little bit more. Um, you can't digress quite as much. You have to assume that you're kind of vying for their attention in a different way than you than you would with writing books. What's the worst date you've ever been on? I was once uh, out at a bar with someone who said, uh, we were talking and she said, I'm going to bite you. And I was like, oh, and I thought it was going to be some coquettish little cute, like, that kind of thing. And she took my finger, and she bit down on it like a pit bull. Like, it felt like I had slammed the car door on my hand. Um, And that was probably the worst date that I ever went on. She also stole five bucks from me, actually. She was fun. What's your best tip for asking awkward questions? Just ask them, you know? Sometimes it's like... uh, it's uncomfortable, but things have to be. And they get interesting that way. And sometimes they're not as uncomfortable as you think, you know, once you get them out there. And it's, it could be kind of exciting, too, because you hear this little voice in the back of your head saying, I can't believe I'm asking this. Um, and then you ask it, and then the world doesn't disappear or anything, you know. How would your friends describe you? Oh, boy, I don't know. I don't know. I try to avoid hearing that stuff. I once walked into a group of... Um, Uh, people I worked with who were talking about how they had just seen the movie uh, Moulin Rouge and she was saying how much she liked it and then someone said Jonathan didn't like it and she was like oh well that makes sense he has no joie de vivre and then like I was just standing in the doorway and she turned around and she said well you don't I think joie de vivre is overrated anyway who is Jonathan Goldstein in three words I don't know. Uh, indecisive. Um, I, th- I think that just says it all. You'll let out all these pauses, right? So it'll seem like boom, boom, boom. 